Oh, the more current comes out. All right, and it makes current because as the bubbles come up the tube, they carry with it water, right? That, because the bubbles are trying to get out the top and they're pushing water along with it. The bubbles hit the top and they're out to the air, but more bubbles are right behind it. So the water can't go back down against the currents of the, of the bubbles. So we end up with a current of water sucking up through here. The only other place for it to go is out this bypass. That makes a nice, soft, aerated, very aerated current of water to hit that glass that's sitting there and it tumbles my eggs. So where does the air come from? It comes from a little air bubble blower next to the pump. And where does it go? I mean, where does it It, it goes. It just, just goes into there. Super simple, man. Super simple. Now the water comes from these. Now what happens in reality is you've got a, a bowl of fish eggs here and mm -hmm. it's tumbling. You can do this with tilapia eggs or salmon eggs or trout eggs or a few stray catfish eggs, though they're usually in a mass. Um, there's a bunch of <laughs> tropicals that this works excellent for. There's a, there's, there's a lot of applications for it. Mm -hmm. Most people use this for tilapia mm -hmm. when they're trying to raise tilapia for a business yeah. because it's more reliable than a mother raising her own. She might get stressed out and eat them one day. Yeah. By the way, some tilapia mothers are just bad mothers yeah. and they just eat their eggs one day or spit them out and ignore them and every other fish comes and eat them. So if your business is raising tilapia fingerlings, you will get a lot more, more reliable if you build an egg tumbler. I'm not saying do that, but that's an option you have to do. I always just let the fish do it. If they're good mothers or bad mothers, I still had all the top I ever needed. No big deal. I've, okay. seen, I've seen mother fish where they will actually eat some of the eggs and spit them out and then eat it and spit them out. Is that what they're doing also? Um, they're probably deciding if they want to be mothers at that point, <laughs> right? And they'll go back and forth like, oh, I yep. shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I better yeah. care for them. Man, this sucks. Okay? Yeah. And, it, and that usually doesn't happen for more than a few hours or a day. And then they either abandon or eat them. Okay. And it's usually from a, from a stress. Okay. But not always. Sometimes they're just bad mothers. Or sometimes the first time they throw a batch of eggs for tilapia, they don't make good mothers. They just screw up somehow or along the line. Or they spit them out before they're ready or something. At any rate, this is a very simple, clean, easy device to use. And you adjust the flow of water by simply raising the, the air tube or lowering it. The lower it is, the more Whoa. current it pulls and the faster this tumble is. You want it to just tumble. You don't want to push any eggs out the top. Now when the eggs hatch, they're not all going to hatch the same day. Some will hatch, others won't. The ones that hatch have got a heavy yolk sac and they probably can't swim outside the glass. So they're going to chill out there until they absorb enough of their yolk sac and kick and get strong enough. When they're strong enough, they come out. Now they're free. Also, when and the remaining hatch, eggs stay in there. Yeah, you just keep it going until they're all Did hatched you watch it in action? Did you see how it was tumbling? Yeah, yeah. it was very smooth. Uh, Those are tapioca pearls, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So what's this called? What's this device called? Oh, I don't know. An egg tumbler. tumbler. Yeah, an egg tumbler. tumbler. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a good name. Yeah. Okay. This particular version is called the John Parr Aristotle. <laughs> I didn't actually make it. I saw somewhere online a picture of it. Um, Glenn Martinez got... I learned it originally from Glenn Martinez. He learned it from a guy in the Philippines. It was in a tilapia hatchery, and this was like five years ago. And I've since then found then that uh, at least... The, what's the guy from Arizona that calls himself a doctor on the forum? Oh, um... Dr. Brooks. Dr. Brooks. Dr. Brooks had a published paper from like 1979 with something very huh. similar to this. So I don't know who invented it. That certainly wasn't me. Right. And what shape and configuration, I don't know. It doesn't matter. You could make it look like Mickey now, Mouse. Here's but the function quote. is all the same. This, actually, this quote actually was, was uh, kind of coined by the aquaculture industry. And mm. they say... Uh, in aquaculture, it's all about imitation, not innovation. They've been doing this stuff for over 60 